are real unless you dream they're not in your dreams love is the plot carried on wings of hope each of our souls Oh no, where else would I be? In honor of the great Dragon Master, Dine. I know that Dine was probably the greatest of the four heroes, Alex, but I'm amazed that you never get tired of coming to stare at his dull monument. Oh shoot, I just remembered. We better go meet Luna to practice singing. If we're late, she'll be upset. Hey, Alex. I figured you might be here. Now that the warm weather has melted the ice near the Dragon's Cave, there isn't any time to waste getting started on our big adventure. If we hurry, we may be able to sneak in without waking the dragon. Then we can get a fantastically huge diamond from its lair worth thousands and thousands of silver, making us filthy, stinking rich, and very popular in the process. monument again? Or were you planning more make-believe adventures with Ramus? Who has awakened me from my deep slumber? adventurers to visit me in a long time. I am Quark, Tetrarch of the Dragon Tribe. 
You have journeyed far, and now you have arrived at my lair. It's a journey few have survived. Your mission must be urgent. Bunch you are! You're lucky I happened to come along when I did! Didn't you know that these woods were ridiculously dangerous for ordinary travelers? Are you lost? Or out for a picnic? What? An adventure? Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash. I'm a level 3 apprentice from the famous magic city of Vane that floats around the Goddess Tower. The area around the Sea Hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? Governor of Moribia, since you're new here, I'll warn ya. If you dare to make any sort of trouble in my town, I'll pop your tiny little heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall.
We seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? Good day to you all. I am Facia, head priestess of the Temple of the Goddess. I have received word that you are on a journey to become the new Dragon Master, Alex. I pray that you choose to stay in vain and become the guardian of Althena, for as you know, we haven't had a Dragon Master since the days of dying came to an end. to the magic school today. I'm not feeling well. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mistook you for a messenger of my mother's. Um, my name is Mia. Mia Alsa. May I ask your name? Welcome to the Magic Guild of Vane, Alex of Berg. I am Galleon, premier of the guild. My apprentice Nash speaks quite highly of you, boy. He said you passed the trial of the White Dragon. If that's true, perhaps you can help me. <laughs> Kyle had himself another night of wine, women, and song. Just between you and me, I think I had a little too much of the wine. But the women didn't complain. trouble here? I think this Dragon Master is a fake. In fact, I bet he's even a bigger phony than my former boyfriend. A good fight is just the ticket to get over that rat. So, let's go find this fraud and show him who's boss. I am Lamia Ausa, governess of the Magic Guild. 
I have heard you seek the dragons. I see the strength of your will in this regard in your eyes. And I sense something else. I sense evil. You seek to destroy the Magic Guild and Althena. <laughs> I am Zenobia, a descendant of the Forgotten Vile Tribe, the innocence Althena callously pushed out beyond the wastelands of the frontier. I warned you I could see many things. Unfortunately, I have now foreseen your demise. Too bad you had to get involved. We didn't expect you to get this far, young Alex. It's been quite a revelation. But you never can tell when luck like yours will run out. can only begin with your enslavement. shall be the cornerstone of a new order. My world order, but... <laughs> Who shall be my queen? Oh, pardon my heels. What's the world coming to when a decent lady has to be so vulgar to protect herself? And now let's end this cheap charade. You and your boys need to learn some manners, sweet cheeks.
Is there something wrong with your eyes? Didn't you see the signs warning about the cranky, stinky, rude genius? Well, that's me, Mike. I hate noise, interruptions, and people. You're trespassing. Go away. We are of the Plains tribe. I am Tempest, and this is Fresca. That man was trying to sell fake medicine to the desperate people here. He knowingly lied for profit. It is the rule of the prairie to execute liars. Why do you dare to interfere in our tribal affairs? Are you a thief as well?
Haven't you figured it out? There's no way to stop this.
I see a bright hope for the future that resides in each and every human being. I see only despair. of Athena is huge. Wow. I wonder why this was hidden beneath the goddess tower all this time. I never heard a word about it when I was studying to be a priestess. <laughs> That's because you always ditched class, honey pie. At least I've set foot in a school, you dumb bastard. You're both acting like children. Knock it off. <laughs> See what's happening? A desert of death is spreading below us. The fortress of Athena appears to be sucking the very life from the ground. If this continues, our whole world will soon be as desolate as the frontier. I don't think Galleon will stop at desolation. He wants total destruction. I'll never let that happen. Perhaps you should demonstrate the power that gives you such confidence. Then we will see who is fit to be supreme ruler and who is dead. Those that underestimate the power of the human spirit are destined to fail. And that means you, Galleon. Finally go back to Berg together. Though Galleon has perished, the fortress of Athena continues to bleed life from the world of Lunar. If it does not cease, all Lunar will become as lifeless as the frontier. But if I leave the fortress, the stored magic will be released too rapidly, and it may end up destroying the entire world of Lunar. I'm a prisoner, Alex. No! I'm sorry, Alex. I must stay here... for Lunar. Uh, I won't give you up! You mustn't give up either, regardless of how hopeless things may seem. There has to be a way. We must believe in the power that resides within each of us, Luna. I believe each of us is entrusted with a future to realize, and this is not our future. Luna, if we work together, I'm certain we'll find a way, just like Dine did, remember?
always be together in the past, the present, and the future as well. It's destiny. Kid, why'd you take the risk? Alex and Luna sacrificed their lives to save this world from destruction. <laughs> oh, Alex and Luna, they're gone forever! Alive again.
Hey, hey, hey.